Welcome to another exciting episode of Video Game Bang. Video Game Bang. Your weekly source for all things video game. Featuring your fearless hosts, Corey Vincent. I'm pretty much uh, Microsoft and Marvel. The cans are on. The issue gets real. You get look. shot during the day. And Aaron Carter. By the armor, I equip it, and it's like pink thong. The guy that delivers vending machine items in my, in my job. He can play <laughs> the right <laughs> Fill up your Mountain Dew and grab your Doritos. It's time for Video Game Bang. What's up, pizzas? It's another episode of Video Game Bang, your source for all things video game. And uh, we were off last week, but uh, we're, we're back. The band's back together. We're getting our stride back. We're getting that swag back. And, <laughs> uh, wow. and uh, okay, you heard his voice right there. This is the man of the hour, Mr. Aaron Carter. Hello, everybody. And also with us, we have the lovely, voluptuous Stephen Gutierrez is back, back with us. He's How's back. How's it going? That's gross. <laughs> you guys voted for him back, and he's back. <laughs> and you probably heard her giggle in the back. She's back as well off of a layoff. Yes. Laura Rodriguez. Yes. yes. Uh, wait. Thank you. What? O- off of a layoff? Yeah. She, <laughs> she, she put in a vacation. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Sorry. You, you didn't I get was... the request. Uh, I, um, I kind of approve those things. Tia Juana. <laughs> That's yes. above your pay grade. Yeah. 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 Aaron, get in line. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to remind everybody we have a Twitter page out there. Uh, is that what they call them? Twitter pages? We have Twitter. We have a Twitter you can, handle. You can tweet to us. At mm-hmm. Video Game Bang. And then uh, you can also get at us at our website www.videogamebang.com All right, that's good. Yeah. Is that good? Go. Do we all right? Go there. Yeah. Do it. So we got a lot of big news Tweet coming us. up. We got things <laughs> to talk about. We have GamesCon. GamesCon is uh in full force or is it over? I don't know. I, I think it's still going, right going it's Germany, right? Yeah, yeah Germany. 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 Yeah, those those Germans when they blitzkrieg uh, a situation, <laughs> they they really blitzkrieg Yikes. a situation. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's going on still. It's still going on. We mm-hmm. got a uh, top 10 list coming at you. We got what you're playing and uh, guests and lots of witty banter. So you guys ready? The witty banter. You... <laughs> I read to... that right off my notes. Yeah, I was gonna say, did you really have to... no. We're going to do some witty banter, everybody. Right, this is structured witty banter time. <laughs> <laughs> Cue witty banter music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you rogue. <laughs> and uh, so let's go ahead and jump into what you're playing. What you're playing. That's kind of what I envisioned for the theme song. <laughs> when you say it like that, I imagine like a giant wheel, and then you just spin it, and then it picks a person's name. And it's like, what you playing? And wow, that's Steven. What an imagination. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> this is video game bang. Now with sound effects. It's <laughs> <laughs> actually really good. We'll save that one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so let's start with Steven. What you been playing, bro? Um... I've been playing a little bit of uh, Dead Rising 2, of course, because that's the free Xbox giveaway. Yep. Um, as well as Assassin's Creed Revelations. I went th- throwback. Wow. Playing that one. Which one is that in the series? Uh, it's the... Fourth? I guess you would say fourth, technically, yeah. but the third one in the Ezio trilogy. Yeah, I'm so lost in that. I know every one of them is fun, but I just don't know the order in which yeah. they came it's, out. It's the same main character as the second one. And what's the uh, what's the time period? You're in uh, Constantinople. I think it's like the Ottoman. Still a, still a renaissance, isn't it? Uh, it's, bef- it's after that. It's after that? Oh. Yeah, it's after so that, it's, but before it's the like, pirates. It was like 50 well, years well, old. Oh, still climbing okay. buildings and running into people. <laughs> And then Dead Rising 2. I think we've all been pretty much playing Dead yeah, Rising 2. Yeah, everybody's been on that. Well, not everybody. Not everybody. And we'll get to that, I'm <laughs> sure. I think. Yeah, okay. Since we already know who's slacking, uh, yeah. <laughs> Aaron, what you been playing? Uh, Dead Rising 2. Um, and then also, since my internet's been kind of wonky lately, uh, I've been uh, back on FIFA 13. Oh, FIFA yeah. 13. Playing yeah. by yourself? Uh, yeah. You like to play with yourself? All the time. Yeah. And uh, I'm in like my like 11th year in my career mode and i'm on my like fourth 
World Cup or whatever, and I'm like the captain. And so what they do in the game is <laughs> it just keeps getting, and I'm like the captain, and I'm like married to a supermodel. Yeah, yeah. I'm like <laughs> I'm <gonna do> this <laughs> story because well, that is boring. What, they, what, they, what they do in the game <laughs> is they take uh, they start creating characters after a little while. So now it's just a whole bunch of random people that are not even real soccer players that oh, are playing yeah. around. I love when they do that. Yeah, and it's just like I don't know who these people are, but it, I'm still enjoying the game. I'm getting geared up for 14 when it comes out. I didn't think I was going to buy it, but. I might have to now. Ooh, we got some news coming up on that a little yeah. bit later. Stick around. <laughs> and we're back. Terrible. <laughs> so, Laura. Uh-oh. What you been playing? <laughs> Nothing, to be honest. She's been playing the game of I, life, my I've friends. Been, yeah, I've been on vacation even on video games. But I think I went to another country. I went to Mexico. So. Mexico's not another country. It's a third world Can country. We, uh, yes. You, you think it's another country? Oh, uh, yeah. It's kind of like America... Point five. <laughs> Soon the streets of Mexico will be empty and there will be no one there because they'll be here. Uh, <laughs> wow. Not a problem. Not a problem. <laughs> they are ready. Not yeah. a problem at all. I love Mexicans. I love the Mexicans. Now he's Especially the women. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Especially the women. But yeah. uh, when, when, they're, when they're gone, I wonder, can we just take that land? Yeah, I think so. Can we just be like, that's America now? Yeah, we took it from the Indians. <laughs> that'll be the 51st state? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll be cool. First. So what was Tijuana Take like? Tijuana. It, it was lovely. No. No. You gotta you let us know how how. Yeah, it? we you we you heard know, a little. You know what it's like? Have you ever seen the bottom of a toilet bowl? Oh, wow. All the time. Still got some residue. That's <laughs> like that. That's terrible. It's the sister city of uh, Stockton, right? Oh wow. No. It's crime capital of. It's considered the city sister of San Diego. Oh. But... That's oh, a wow. fall- that's a stretch. That's a fallacy right yeah. there. That is well, wrong. It's right there. So. I'm sorry. San Diego is a good city. Yes. And but so, it's still right there. So, so did you fly, drive, boat? Use a sneak under the fence? I, I was going to say, use a coyote. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, Aaron, bus, let's be that's how she got respectable. That. It's coyote. Wow. Wow. Terrible. <laughs> racist. Yeah. We're on video game, babe. We don't like to be racist. <laughs> Apparently we do. Um, I almost got mugged. Let's let's hear about oh, that I one. Hear about this. The first, I would say, five minutes I was in the country. Wow! Oh, so no. Laura is just getting out of the car. Stop, stop <laughs> that new topic. It's not what you're playing. It's how you're living. Oh, yeah. So, oops, did, sorry. I, I shouldn't yeah, be alive. Is that what we're doing now? <laughs> yeah. You almost got robbed. Uh, yeah. I, was gonna, um, I came into the Mexico, and I was going through like some weird. Because when you get there, there's some, like, aisles you have to go through. And then uh, right now, it's getting fixed, the border. So it's more crowded. And there's always, like, a lot of people, like, crowding. And I saw this guy, like, near me, like, just acting weird. Just, like, and you know something's up. Once you go to Mexico, you know, like, you got to watch out. So that's what almost mug means? You just saw some guy acting no, weird? No, it's... Um, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> No, if no, then no, I, no, I almost no. got mugged He's... by Steven just right now. <laughs> <laughs> he basically, um, he was just acting weird. And he wanted me to go first because we were kind of confused. Like, who's going first? And I was like, yeah, but he looks kind of weird. So I'm going to go first. Well, he couldn't, like, you know, make a decision of who's going to go first. So I was like, I'm going to go first. I'm going to go fast because I feel, I don't feel good right now about this guy. So I went hecka fast. And I was like, okay, he didn't do anything. He didn't steal anything. I thought I was overthinking. And then my mom was right behind me. And then she, um, she basically, I saw the guy actually come over with some other, like, uh, the border patrol. Uh-huh. Like, he was holding him from his neck. And I was like, what happened? You Whoa, know? And then like, my mom was like, that guy almost mugged me, you know? And so I almost tried to mug my mom instead. And then that's when they caught him or whatever? When he... Yeah, they hold him by the neck or... Was this in Wait. Tijuana or just right, at the, or right at the border? No, because, you know, like, basically, like, holding them, trying to, like, I don't take them to the to the police station. The I guess it was the police from over there. No. So... Oh. Did I miss a joke over here? Uh, is that... How do you say jail in Spanish? Carcel? I guess. I don't know. I, I'm still learning. I'm on level three. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> only on level three. <laughs> I'm only on level three. I'm only on level three. I'm on Duolingo. That's terrible. So what were you there for? I always visit my family over there. Smuggling? No? No smuggling? Okay, fine. (laughs) I mean, isn't that what you go to Mexico for? I did smuggle you a jersey, though. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Jealous much? (laughs) 
but I, I am. Uh, I don't want something a little five year old. <laughs> uh, I, will, I will. I will. I will. I will wear beans. that sweatshop jersey with pride. Yeah, so how I'm dare noticing you? a lot of gifts going from Laura to Aaron. Is there something we don't know? <laughs> That's well, for a uh, later date off the radio. Wow. That's wow. For later date yeah, because it was a keychain first, which uh, I didn't get. That was okay, uh, a two well, chains. Two she chains. walked in the room and didn't even say hi to me. Rude. Oh, wow. No. Well, see, me and Laura have this connection. All right. <laughs> I'm sure. We're, we're just going to start first of all, there. Yeah, because like, there's soccer jerseys of this, of this team like everywhere. Like, there. first of all, so, do you know, besides the city of that soccer team, do you know the name of that soccer team? What team? That she's wearing. Look, look you don't even know. She's yeah, the only person. Jersey? She's the only person in here with a yeah. soccer jersey on. I it's, thought she got a new job working for Coke. Wow. It's the Coca Colas. No. <laughs> Do you want a Coke? Coca. So, so you know a while, why you can't recognize the jerseys? Because, because of, nobody watches that. <laughs> and why is it the name prominently on the front? Because they have a lot of sponsors on there. I mean, so you know, you have sponsors just like you see if you see boxers that have like the little sponsors on their backs and stuff like that. Yeah, that's just the same thing they do with the soccer jerseys and stuff like that. Okay. Mm. But um, see, this, this this is video game bang, yeah. not soccer <laughs> game bang. It's gaming news. Right. Is something wow. more interesting. That kind of gaming news. Anyways. Oh, I. You want to ask me what I'm playing here? Oh, uh, Corey. It doesn't matter what I'm playing. <laughs> wow. wow. What are you playing, Corey? Thank Tell you, Laura. Us. Oh, uh, so you can cut me off, but then when Laura asks... <laughs> well, okay, I, I respect her. I'm yeah. interested. Yeah. Wow. And I respect her. Well, now I'm not interested. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, well, actually, I've been playing the game with Aaron, uh, Dead Rising 2, and uh, Doritos Crash Course 2. What? Also free. Yeah, Where are you? Look, you're sleeping on them. Oh yes. In the drought, I'm just clinging to the free games until all the awesome <laughs> stuff happens. Are we really in a drought? We though, are man? in a drought. I mean, with all the free good stuff, that's not well, a drought. Well, what you call well, it? Well, Di- Diablo is coming to Xbox, but it's conference. not here. He's talking about what are we playing now? Yeah, and it's not coming to Xbox One, which is upsetting. Why is that? I wonder why, why was their decision to just keep it off of their that next? It's coming on the P4. That's why oh, like... it is going to be on the PlayStation yes, it's Four. It's going to be on PS4. Wow! So like... Breaking news. Oh, hell oh wow! No. Like, Breaking I, news I, I on the podcast. Just... No, I, I think I think they'll make it for the one eventually. But, eventually, uh, what, like four months down the road. Yeah, they'll probably port like, it the, over. The, now. Microsoft, down, like Microsoft yeah. is very uh, overwhelmed right maybe now. It'll be a, uh, maybe it'll be a download only on the Xbox One. That would be I stupid. Don't know. Why would that be stupid? Digitally, I hate digital download games. That's retarded. That's where we're going. It's the future. That's dumb. I can only accept that. That that's the future. If. There's some type of refund. No, you won't. Oh, you mean like if you don't like it? If I don't like it, well, no, 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 no. You don't even get that in real life in the stores. Excuse me. Buy a game and return it. But you can trade it in and sell it. What? What GameStop can I not go and get a used game and take it back? Okay, yeah, GameStop. Then you can go buy the game used, but yeah, yeah, you can't buy a used digital copy, can you? No, there's no such thing. But I'm saying. I Actually, like, that, I heard that might be coming though. You well, can buy someone's. Uh, you could sell your license. Okay, well, see, then that that I can see. I can I can price. like that. And if they have some type of virtual market on Xbox One, PS4, what have you, where I can take my old game license that I don't like or I don't play anymore, and then I can go sell it for a, a small, you know, and it probably won't be for anything but in in system currency or something like that. Well, yeah, yeah they are moving to real currency. Yeah, but they're anymore. not going to give you money for that. Type. They're yeah, going to do like a true. PayPal account for you or something like true that, that. True and that. that's what they'll do. But that'll be fine. I'll be happy with that because there's some games that I just it'll just sit and collect dust in my on my hard drive, you know, what have you. Yeah, and I'll never play it again. And it's just like, man, like I have Alien Hominid on my Xbox 360. I haven't played that ever. Yeah, I played like one time, and then I don't play it again. If I can get 20 Microsoft points for it or something like that. So be it. That's if you, if you have an head. Xbox right now and you don't currently have Dead Rising 2, you got to go get it. Yeah. And it's the, free. That's me. And the It's um, free, Laura. Why don't you have it? <laughs> well, she was out of the country. That's when they don't have internet Do in Mexico. Smart we all know that. Yeah. Do you have smart glass? Is there internet in Tijuana? No, no, no. no. I told no, you. No, because um, it's. I don't once even think I'm you can do there, that. Yet. My internet, it's against the law <laughs> in, you know, in Mexico. You know how you can tell Mexico is a bad country? Why? Satellites don't even pass over. <laughs> That's terrible. Well, you you have a plan from here. How are you gonna? 
cross it over over there. Uh, it, it shuts down. Easy. Oh, uh, yeah. Satellites <laughs> pass over the entire planet. I, uh, Except Mexico. Well, There's a few opinions. <laughs> My phone Sir, company doesn't. You don't have Telemex? <laughs> what, what what are you guys' opinions on on Dead Rising Two? I guess a uh, uh, David who's not represented here actually had a pretty decent comment. I I love the game, especially because it's free. But uh, David says it feels like there's an overwhelming amount of things to do, but nothing to do at the same time. Um, because that, of the time frame. Well, when we first played it, we kind of just ran through the story. Me and Steven. Yeah. This time that this time around that we're playing it, it's more uh, we're we're hitting up all the side quests and stuff like that, and we're actually finding more things that uh, we didn't find in the first place, like secret, um, like passageways and yeah. stuff like that. Oh wow! Didn't yeah. even know about that to make the game go a lot quicker, so you can finish up side quests really fast and still have a lot of time for the main quests. Yeah, and we we didn't do that at all before. I have I had to start a whole new save specifically just for messing around because I felt so anxi- anx- so much anxiety because mm-hmm. I didn't want to spend time crafting, which seems like one of the more fun things to do. Because I was like, oh man, my daughter's gonna die. Wow. Oh, I'm over here trying to make a dildo sword. <laughs> wow, <laughs> but you, you know? but you can but when you play the game, I don't know if it's like if you when you play the game right, but when you kind of really get into the game and you maybe have to do it in co-op yeah so you have somebody helping you 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 have time to do everything yeah like because we're 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 locking down everything i don't yeah. think we've let one thing slip yet have we well, no. we save pretty much everybody we've had some close calls definitely yeah but, but uh, we get it you get it <laughs> was done. i with you that one time when we had those the gimpy lady and got there just in time but we dr- forgot one, left the room, and then and we failed the whole mission. Or was that David? No, nah, it must have been David. Cause yeah. I Our time management skills are not on point. <laughs> you have to have some very, I guess, to reiterate, on point time management skills. <laughs> yeah. If, so if you're listening, go get it. Get in- it's anxious. De- it's definitely it's a good worth game. playing, especially free now. I mean, yeah, you get what you pay it's for. It's no excuse to not try it. Yeah. Hmm. All right. And that concludes what you're playing. No, that was a little throwback to D, what? the Dominique, <laughs> who will be on the podcast. Oh, he is livid. He is. Does he listen? Oh, should we yes. cut this attentively? <laughs> he 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 listens to is every show. D, we angel? promise. It's it just he, he was our very first guest. Technically, we just didn't have enough mics for him. Yeah, at the time, we did not know. All right, player, this one's for you. All right, we have some gaming news. Uh, the biggest news for me. I'm just gonna. I don't know about me, but for me. The uh, biggest one is Elder Scrolls Online will have a subscription fee, and the rumor is that it will be fifteen dollars a month. Not a downer. That. Not a downer. That's not all. a downer. Nah. Were you going to get it to begin with? Oh uh, yeah. Are you still going to get it? Yes. What? Why wouldn't I? It's Elder Scrolls it's, Online. Yeah. I've been telling everybody that is the next step they needed to take to make this game more. I'm tired of fighting in Elder Scrolls, and then be like, oh cool, look at this armor, everybody. Oh wait a minute, I have nobody to show. Like, it's stupid. We used to take pictures, Laura. Did we not? Yes. And then show each other on our cell phones. <laughs> there is something fishy. Yeah. That is... They're taking pictures and saying... That is... This podcast is a sham. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this whole thing is put together. No, because uh, I think she's the from night away from yeah, you, she armor had She had the nightingale armor on. I love on. that armor. And then I have my mage uh, armor. But armor. it's like with multiplayer games like that or big expansive games like that. It's cool that you can play single players, but I like the option to kind of show off what I've done. You know, a bragging yeah, right. You're gonna, you're willing to pay fifteen dollars a month to show off what you've done. I'm willing to pay fifteen dollars a month to get more content, which I know uh, they will throw out there more Bethesda. than yeah. Bethesda is good for it. Yeah. Look at them with Fallout, uh, the Fallout series. I mean, they're they're known for doing classic stuff. So. Laura, you in or out? Oh. I'm in, actually. Fifteen dollars a month, you're yeah. gonna do it. There it is, boom. <laughs> wow. boom. I'm, I'm a big fan. I, I was like, oh, but then I was like, oh, okay, I'll put my money in towards it. I really yeah. like this game. Hey, Steven. Um, yeah, yeah, you know what? I, I probably would be uh, all in. <laughs> really? There it is. Oh, three man. for three. Um, I was the one. Because was the one thing with Skyrim. It was like, uh, if I had co-op. It'd be awesome. And I would yeah. have accepted that with the next title. And I think Aaron and told... Just that, but online, mine, that's going to be interesting. Yeah. And then I think you brought up a good point when you were saying, like, how come they didn't make it more of, like, you can see where you're at or you can see where your teammate's at, like, in the map? 
Remember yeah. Remember when you said that? Yeah, because I, I even would have accepted that. Not even it's not even like a co op. It's just like a like they did with Fable, how they had the floating orbs everywhere. Like I can see Steven is in one little area over there, and we can just like float together, even though he's not affecting <laughs> wow. anything. Oh, yeah. He's not affecting anything in my world, but mm-hmm. you know, it's I can. Neat. It's, it's yeah, it's pretty cool. Interact like, with my orb. It's it's yeah, he just wants to float next to your orb. <laughs> 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 there's, there's no point to it. We don't talk or help each other in the game, but we just know we're near each other. <laughs> but it, it, it help, he can walk me through and be like, look, this is how I did it. Uh, okay. You know, there's a point to it. I, I wasn't don't just... know. Fifteen dollars a month. So is that yeah, what's yeah. keeping you from that's being probably, all in? That's probably gonna be the killer. Oh that, my god. Oh, wow. You gotta think though, like every MMO that's came that's come out has been like fifteen dollars a month, ten dollars a month or something. Then it realizes it it's... can't compete with wow, well, wow, yeah, and this is probably the one thing that will literally yeah. blow WoW out the water because WoW is like you're just rehashing new ideas now. It's like level they... cap at a semi decent race, and then nerf moves. People said that about Knights of the Old Republic. I'm mean, not Knights of the Old Republic. Sorry, the uh... the Star Wars MMO, yeah, right? The Star Wars the MMO. second well, one. See, the Star Wars MMO just seemed like once you got to a certain level, it's like you you're done. The game's over and there was no extra content you go through. That's what I heard from plenty of people when I was working at GameStop. Plenty of customers were just telling me that. Like, it's fun. You get to the top level cap and you're like, all right, there's nothing else to do. Isn't that all MMOs, though? I mean, there's expansions, but well, once you like, beat it. Wow, I know there was like, I think what got everybody was like the battlegrounds and the gear was constantly changing. And, and they'll have like seasonal stuff to do with it. Oh, okay. But with like, that's the Republic, I heard it was just like, you're done. You can get gear, but it's like that's it. Hmm. Yeah, and then it was Star Wars with the Lucas engine and all everything had the extreme rabid fan base that that would be the one to take out. Wow, I don't, they, they I just don't think Bethesda's quite there. Bethesda is too bold. Is, nah, for Bethesda, Bethesda, to Bethesda's do that. they're they're good enough. They can do it. It's possible. I don't know if they're gonna, it's going to take out Wow because Wow's already established for you know it's been there for years and they've got their their fan base is just like you know oh yeah they, millions. They like I don't see them conquering WoW. I don't. I don't even know if that's capable right at this point. But you can definitely be a, a top competitor, and you know, I think it'll do some damage to the clientele because I think that's kind of like the magic and the the warriors and stuff. That's kind of the same universe era. If you kind of, yeah, I don't know if you're following, but like, I, I think a lot of people will be more um, interested and intrigued with the more like realistic style of Skyrim. All right, and or uh, Elder Scrolls. Mm, yeah, true. I'm sure we'll come. More details will come out, and if they could set up a schedule of this is what you're going to get for your money, then maybe I'll I'll change my tune. But there's still more time. The uh, next thing on the docket we have here is uh, Xbox One is Connect. That's what one of the high up Microsoft executives <laughs> said. Uh, Microsoft One is Connect, and Microsoft will not sell the Xbox without the Connect. That's a lie. You think so? What that, happens if my Connect breaks? That's a bold face They're lie. They're gonna have to sell the Connect without the Xbox. But but they will. I, I guarantee they'll they'll put out something. Maybe not like launch and, and maybe not even a couple of months after launch, but eventually they will have a connectless Xbox come out. A connectless? <laughs> that's actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> you wear it around your <laughs> neck. Flame's gonna rock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they they're gonna do it. Google glasses and your connectless. <laughs> because I mean Say I want to just buy the Xbox without the Connect to save some money, and then maybe later I go and pick up the Connect no. when I see all the features that I can't do with the Connect. Or something I think like they've that. they've committed; they got to go full retard on this one. They're gonna try. I still don't see any reason to have it. Like it's not something that's a must-have. Uh, you have to say Xbox TV to switch your TV. That's dumb. I'm gonna change the channel with my remote. You know how many lazy Americans there are out there? <laughs> I know there's lazy people. All right, that's, then. That's who they're that's catering to. Reason, like a definite reason for me to have a connect. It's more to pressure the... Uh, it's more to pressure my pocket. Yeah, my well, no, 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 no. He, it's it's more, you're thinking the developers, right? It's going to pressure the developers to actually utilize it. Because everyone's going to have it. At, right, at this current moment, um, I don't know what the exact percentage of people who have the connect. We're in a room. All of our friends have the Xbox. How many of us have connect? I think just you. Just me? Yeah. Because so, you're the only sucker in the room. Uh, you are. You, well, well, Corey, not saying you're a sucker. You are Microsoft. Uh, like uh, they own your internal organs or something. <laughs> like to, to a degree because they put out good stuff. I mean, we use uh, the Connect a lot. We, we, we use it. It's not like 
you know, I bought it and I never use it. I Do you use it every time though? Because that's what this next uh, no. Xbox One is going to... That's what they want you to do. Every time you turn on yeah, your Xbox... Yeah, and I'm excited. That's what they want you to yeah, do I'm is use that, that connect. But right now, a developer has no real uh, motivation to throw awesome connect features or do anything cool. What else could you do? What's the incentive for them, though? There is none. That's why they don't do I'm it. I'm talking about for the Xbox One when they do it. everybody's going to have it. Just because everybody has it, that means I have to make something for it? Yeah. If you want to gonna... come up with that one thing that makes your game better than the other guys, you're going to have to come up with something awesome. Right now, it, doing something with the Kinect is kind of dumb because only 10% have it. So I see, you're I spending see. all this extra money and you're putting in extra effort to add something to a game that only 5%, 10% people can enjoy. But still, okay, everybody has a Kinect, right? Yeah. And Who's going to buy the games? What <laughs> Besides voice commands... And it taking a picture of your face, what else is it gonna do? I, I don't see game wise. I don't see that being the big push for for developers because if they don't want to put that or if they can't think of a way, they're not gonna break their brains trying to think of how to put something in there. If somebody comes up with something very clever and they put it in there and it sells billions or something like that, or it's just like a crazy amount, you know. Um, then other developers will just simply look to see how they're going to tweak that small feature. But until then, I don't think anybody's going to break their neck trying to figure out how to. We have to, you know, use utilize. This Mind connect, you, use... the our indie developers are going to have access. So you and me, we're going to have the ability to start making stuff. So there's going to be some crazy yeah, it's gonna be off some, the wall. Yeah, because when you put it into the hands of everybody, yeah, that's you're gonna get, things are going to happen, and then it's going to be applied. It's going to morph over a time. It's not. It's when it first comes out, it's going to be about the same of what it is now. But over time, it's gonna it's gonna snowball. See, but that, that's the thing, though. I still don't because if you do anything with movement, you're just moving your hands. But that's like it's kind of lame after a while. That's the same trick over and over. Voice commands. It's gonna be the same trick over and over. That's all you can do. You can't get up, move around, and it's not gonna follow you like that. You're not going to be able to get a 3D image on your connected TV and be able to move in your house while moving your character. Or can so you? Like, it's not or can you with the Oculus Rift? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, that's <laughs> knocking over stuff in your living room. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kicking your dog. I don't see it being that essential to making games besides those two functions, which would be to move your body for the Kinect Sports crap and like voice commands for... Outer Scrolls Online or whatever. I only see it it's, as exercising. Yeah, exactly. I like, I, like there's no Zumba three. The, op- the options are good. Chat. I actually used my Connect uh, for gameplay during the uh, Madden demo, and it was really responsive. I was. What I was did impressed. you do on that? Uh, you were able to. Uh, po- oh, one of the most. Uh, this was really. Uh, it didn't help the gameplay. I was able to uh, skip the huddle, do things like that, call timeouts. And uh, voice command, yeah, all voice commanded. But the only weak thing, they let me say Gatorade, and I poured Gatorade on my coach. Wow, <laughs> that was okay. Awesome. Now, now here's the thing. Then, with all that, it was all voice command. That's all voice <laughs> command. <laughs> yeah. Now, why couldn't, why wouldn't you say developers wouldn't uh, press to do something with voice command if uh, everybody has a headset? packaged with their xbox there you go. because there was a game that came out where you can command all your soldiers and everything and tell them where to go just by voice command and you use your regular Tom xbox and it, so why couldn't i just why wouldn't that put pressure on developers to do something more with that i think that's the same thing with the connect so i don't think that that same uh formula since everybody has it is going to put pressure on developers saying since everybody has it we have to make something for it it's going to take uh I, I think it's going to take an indie developer to show up big developers. Oh, yeah, which is going to happen. To, and, yeah, it's going to happen. That's going to happen. So, because I mean, you saw crazy stuff happen for just the random people building stuff. Like, oh, look at the things we can do with it. And then they're going to be like, hey, we could pay to do stuff like this. Why aren't we, you know, why aren't we researching this or something like that? But I don't think it's just going to be like, because everybody has it, we have to make something for it. Yeah. I mean, the only thing cool that I've ever heard somebody else come up with was like, I forget who was telling me, but they were like, when you're playing a game and if it's like a scary game, if something falls in your house, say your dog barks, the, in the game, like that noise is, is referenced. So they, 
it's, it's a zombie game. Zombies just heard your dog bark, so they're attracted. I'd be pissed off. So it, that's like you know, <laughs> you, you tell me those I, little kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah I gotta, I like, gotta live in a quiet house now just to play this game. Yeah, that's that what, would so be okay. awesome. I mean, though. that's kind that's of pretty cool, cool if you're playing like a survival horror game. But there's no real. That's something I never even thought of. That yeah, so yeah. Be and that, see that, and then little nuggets like that. There's probably <laughs> billions nuggets. of people out there. <laughs> yeah, what little little <laughs> nuggets? Start with little nuggets. Little nuggets of joy like that. <laughs> it is. It was a little nugget of pleasure. Responding to noise and stuff, but like, I don't know. I don't see anything. I think else there's a lot of stuff like that. It, it and it's only an extra hundred dollars. I don't have a problem me, with the price. Uh, the price only is an extra hundred. Yeah, to me, the price is fine. I mean, I'm not worried about price. I'm going to get it anyway, and I know I'll buy it because I'm just a gamer. But I don't know. Like, don't don't tell me your system is just a, it needs it because it, it, to me, it, I don't I don't need it. As a I, it's a waiting game now. We'll see what comes yeah. out with it. So uh, next, uh, <laughs> I don't really remember what the actual story is, but on my notes, it's Disney Infinity is going ham. What? Anybody know what I was thinking? Uh, probably because it's seems like it's selling well and it's doing well, I think. You were telling me a little bit yeah, about it. No, Can you that, uh, explain? Because I, I, <clears throat> truly, I know it has to do with toys. Yeah, because it, it's, it's basically Skylander's rival. Because mm. it's the only thing that can compare to it. Um what is Skylanders for the people that don't know? I don't know Skylanders. what that is either. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I know what it is, well, but I'm saying. Basically, it's like, uh-huh, sure you do. like taking your action figures, putting them on like, they call it the portal. The portal, ones. yeah. Okay. Um, you put it on there, and that's the character you play in the game. Oh, okay. So, uh, like with Disney Infinity, it has its own little portal, but you get the Disney characters. So you can be like the dude from Monsters, Inc. Um, put him on there, you have Monsters, Inc. world, and you can do oh. missions and stuff, which was pretty cool because uh, I bought it for my nephew, and like I put the Pirates of the Caribbean guy on there and I was in the pirates world and in the pirates world I was doing quests and like things in that world and then I switched out the little pirate guy with the uh, octopus face what's his Davy Jones oh yeah 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 and then I was like on the fly I can be this guy but what's cool is like if you don't want to do any missions you can just create stuff wow but the more like you play the game you unlock things to put in your creative world as well as like um, so like if I want a, a ship in my racing uh, racetrack. I can put a Pirates of the Caribbean ship with a Cars racetrack type of thing all in this like toy box mode. It's pretty cool. Wow. Can you cross story characters? You can't do that which I was kind of bummed because I was like let me be you know uh, Monsters Inc. guy in Pirates of the Caribbean but yeah. it, it doesn't do that. Uh, That'll be an update I bet. But yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, and, and if they do that in an update can you imagine if they start rolling with some Marvel? That's That's what I was like thinking because disney owns marvel right yeah and yeah. star wars oh see look, even so you have luke skywalker and fighting wolverine. wolverine wolverine wow you know what my um when i was at gamestop um the district manager came in with that sky skylanders box mm-hmm. like before skylanders even came out and he's like this is literally the next big thing guys like we're gonna start pushing this out on you know and so i'm sitting there thinking the whole time like okay this is this is a gimmick, first of all, because you're just putting a toy on a thing and it's going to the game. But the thing blew up. Oh, yeah. Like, Skylanders? Yeah, is actually Skylanders. Popular? It's crazy. Skylanders popular. blew it's up not even, huge. It's not even just kids. It's like grown-ass men. And wow. and so they were like, you got this character? Yeah, they were looking for a specific <laughs> character. It was, like, it, was, it was like Beanie Babies yeah. Uh, yeah. back in the day, if anybody remembers that. Yeah, but people, your age. <laughs> people were looking for the specific characters and they would come in and literally I would have customers come in like, hey, do you guys have, you know, Ninja. Magmar Gar <laughs> or something, yeah, and they'd be like, no, nah, and they just walk right out. Yeah. They wouldn't look at any other thing. <laughs> and I'd be like, really, for a Skylanders <laughs> toy? And then I've, I've had customers come in and just buy whole racks of them and wow. just like dump oh, them yeah. into and in, into their cart. <laughs> it was like, we don't even guy. have shopping carts at GameStop, so what are you doing? <laughs> there was a rare one called Ninjini. That's for the Giants one. And we had got like six of them. And the guy was like... I'm gonna buy all of those. And about how much do these things cost? Yeah, uh, those things were like fifth. The one he bought was like fifteen bucks. Oh, okay. But he was like, "I'm gonna sell them on eBay for like yeah. sixty to seventy dollars." Wow. And it, it was even more, I think, at the time. So he's they they the money. they took a dip real quick, and then they shot right back up. Yeah. Like they were like at one point we were selling little action figures for like four ninety nine, and it was just like for one week I remember, and then uh, nobody was buying them. And then all of a sudden we did a price change and they jumped up to seven ninety nine, 
And then like a couple of people were buying them, and then they jumped up to like fifteen bucks a piece. And I was like, "You guys should have came in two weeks ago, yeah. or you would have had them all for like." <laughs> and, and, and that's the crazy thing with this Disney Infinity is because they sell the characters, they sell like the little world um, pieces too, uh-huh. and then they sell these things for power ups, and they call them like power discs. And you put them like underneath the character, and it gives them like. Plus ten strength, plus but wow. they're random. So Stuff like you <laughs> buy random packs for like five bucks, and it comes with two random power disc things, and it could be anything. This is compatible like, with every I think all the system. systems, yeah. Because yeah. it's like a USB PlayStation. It's yeah. like a USB plug-in, right? Yeah, because I bought yeah. it for uh, my nephew for the Wii U because he has a Wii U. Oh, and, and Wii U. He's been like Wii tearing U. that thing up apparently. So. Wow, we could talk Disney all day, but we got something else because I think this one, Aaron, have you heard of uh, Fable Legends? Yet? I have. And, and do, do you feel slighted? I no. <sighs> they basically mixed mixed feelings. They took one of Aaron's grand ideas. Yeah. No. And once again, Peter Time Molyneux out. was listening to his Xbox Live conversation. Time out for real, because when I saw the stupid interview, if I didn't almost vomit in my mouth from this, <laughs> these are all my ideas, like. I have them written down, but I bet you they've probably been working on it for some time. Should have mailed it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> since, since they, they hacked your email. But they, they literally, they just took an idea that I was just like, why hasn't anybody made this game yet? And I've been thinking about this idea for a long, long time, even before I had written the idea down. Because Dungeons and Dragons is a game that's supposed to be, you know, widely popular. It's, there's a whole bunch of different iterations and a lot of people play it. Mm-hmm. I've never played the game. But the concept of one person controlling the environment and other people, you know, questing or doing whatever in it. Yeah. That just seems awesome. So natural for a video game. Yeah. Especially with this day and age of online where one person is the dungeon master and then the other people are the dungeon raiders. Lionhead is good about uh, sucking up to Microsoft. So you can bet that it's going to be smart glass enabled. Yeah. And oh, they, they already said. Yeah. So the the person who's controlling the land is going to have a top down view so they could be on their smartphone or Android or okay. iPad or whatever. So stop there. So instead of me having to buy an Xbox with a connect, let me get an Xbox with a tablet. What What is their a tablet Microsoft called? Cheap tablet. The Microsoft service. The service is that what it's called? Yeah. So they can't put well, a surface with do something uh, an extra hundred bucks. I would. I would well, buy. no. The point is, what kind of phone do you have? I have an Android phone. Android S three. That'll work. Yeah, but I mean, I guess, like, I guess their idea is that everybody already has a that's phone. The whole that's a thing smartphone. That, yeah, you, that you can buy any tablet in the store theoretically, and it'll be compatible with the Xbox. And that's something everyone's going to buy anyways. And unlike the Vita, it actually has purposes outside of gaming. So it's the it's the tablet that you're already going to have, or your phone that you already have in your pocket, and it's just going to work. So uh, to to back it up, because I don't even think we even established what it is. Fable um, Legends. Oh, yeah, right? we didn't talk about it. Sorry, everybody. Fable <laughs> Legends is a game where you choose from an already pre-made character. Four of them. Four of them. Well, actually, they said even five. Actually, no, the fifth person is. Well, the... yeah, the fifth person is dungeon master person. Yeah. So the the four pre-made characters is like your. Um, Swordsman, uh, uh, fancy like prince type of guy, boy yeah, prince. the pretty boy. Then they had the archer guy with the um, crossbow, and he looked kind of big and bulky. And they yeah. said he was kind of a first person, not a first person, but like a third, third person, person shooter, over the shoulder shooter guy. Yeah, and then they had the um, the like the warrior, the chick. warrior the chick, chick from Game yeah. of Thrones, and then a mage girl, <laughs> uh, you know, a wizard girl. Um, what do you call them? The uh, mages. Mages. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the mages. Wizards. So they they go around the environment and they play the game while the fifth character uh, they're like the voyeur the the player he sit on the hill. he gets to throw enemies and and obstacles in their in the hero's way yeah and I mean I but but see that's the thing is it just like okay you're just seeing a, a pre made level or is it like fable where it's open world yeah, that's, I'm they haven't area. shown anything yet that's that. what I'm saying like all you've shown me is a cinematic. If it's open world, it'll be very, very interesting. And it'll be kind of boring at some points when they're going into the village and talking to people and you can't really just send then, in... Then Dungeon you Master send... Demons. Yeah, Dungeon Master send a, a raid in there. There's got to be something that they're going to give the Dungeon Master to do. Because in my idea, uh, the the person that's the Dungeon Master, he's not always throwing stuff at people. He's off trying to do objectives too to get points to be able to buy oh, these units okay. to go and to send at these people. Because, yeah. I mean... 
if you think about any basic hero stories or video games, it's not like the 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 main bad guy is always just going after the heroes because then it would just be some long drawn out you know yeah, fight. He's got to do his own. He's got to do his. He's got his own objectives and yeah. stuff like that. So I like the idea too. They were saying like uh, you know the four or it's because it's going to be a, an open level at least. Mm-hmm. You know, so like if two split off or one guy gets separated, you could shut a gate or create a rift or something that'll isolate that one guy. So then you could pick on him. Yeah. And get him. They were like, if eliminated. two people are doing a good job together or something, if they're working off each other, feeding off each other, you can split them up somehow. Yeah. And what I say back before, why I have mixed emotions about this is because I love the idea, but I don't want Peter Molyneux to screw it up. <laughs> I think he's a bum. And, Does he even still work there? And I don't know. I, I actually, no, yeah, he's not with Lionhead, is he? No, I think he's got his own thing. But going. I think his stink is still around that company, and yeah. they're gonna they're gonna find some way to he's screw the guy this that up. Shows up for work. You don't work here. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go home, Peter. But I've got so many ideas. <laughs> and it grows. I've got so many. Let me. <laughs> when did he turn into the the Beatles? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't everybody from England? Yeah, the that's Beatles. Right. They're all the Beatles. <laughs> And, uh, oh, and the last uh, bit of news, PlayStation has a solid launch date uh, for their PS4 uh, November 15th. You can be more excited about that. And, no, he uh, cannot be. Nice. He's, yeah, he's trying to skim his past that yeah, as quick as possible. That's good. Yeah, that's good, short, good for them. That's, I mean, they're, 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 trying to, they're trying to get the jump on Xbox, you know. See, this is Xbox's opportunity to be like October 29th. Yeah, they yeah. could. It, well, there, no, people co- are saying that the best day would be November fifth, yeah, and they're thinking that November fifth well, might be the it's day. Call of Duty. That's when Call of Duty's it's Call coming of Duty drops. So if they launch the- with Call of Duty, <laughs> there's supposed to be like a Call of Duty bundle already for the Xbox. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Three hundred and sixty. So that's why I speculated that they, it may come out on that day. <laughs> yeah. I mean. When the, lights go, and, out, when the lights go out, when the lights go out, hey, and Aaron, uh, too bad you don't live in Europe because oh, uh, darn. did you hear about that? Did you uh, hear about this one? No, I didn't. <laughs> People who live in Europe that uh, pre-order the Xbox One get a free copy of FIFA 14. Which is oh, bullcrap. Because that I is. pre-ordered mine and I want my damn free FIFA. They say I mean, suck it, never America. It, yeah. But, uh, you know, I might try it. I guess I got to move to Europe. What is the, the furthest east? Tijuana. No, no. Furthest, <laughs> see, not furthest east. The furthest west would be uh, what what Russia? country? For, no, Ru- the come on. It, Russia is firstly. It's Russia. Oh, you want to go that way? Uh, furthest west uh, to get to uh, Europe. Oh, oh, Russia idiots. doesn't like I think it's Korea. So Aaron would be for Spain. It. I mean, for uh, for England. I mean, Europe. I think it's Spain. Oh, for isn't Europe. It? Oh, I thought I you wanted Spain. Uh, Spain is the closest. So oh, it could be Italy. I, I can go to the coast there. Italy no, is. Portugal. 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 No, so, Portugal. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I can go, take a take a trip <laughs> there, pre-order, and then fly back. That's what we do. What are you gonna do to pick it up? Uh, like I said, I take a trip there. Oh God! Pre-order it, take it up, <laughs> take a day trip well, to would Spain. Would it be like under under their laws, like their their rights? Sure Aaron Carter doesn't Euros. follow any laws, and yeah, oh yeah, so Euros. Like, all are. of your games and everything you do yeah. will have to be in Spanish. But you're on level three. <laughs> I'm of on the level Spanish three in Duolingo. <laughs> what are you talking about? And with that, we're gonna take our first break, everybody. Thank you for listening to Video Game. Hello, everybody. Thanks for listening to the Video Game Bang. We hope you're enjoying the program so far. If you haven't already, please follow us on Twitter at Video Game Bang and let us know what you think about the show so far. We really want your comments. Or, you know, if you like it, you know, let us know. Also, for more video game and technology news and reviews, please visit the website at www.videogamebang.blogspot.com. And now back to the show, which I know you're going to listen to the rest of it. That can't. All right, we're back on the podcast, everybody. We have breaking, late breaking news on uh, via my Facebook feed. Uh, The American actor Ben Affleck uh, has been cast to play the new Batman. I'm done. <laughs> I am done. In what? In the parody of Batman called... No. No, in Batman Superman. No. No. Bring what back the nipples. N- no. <laughs> ben Affleck. This is, uh, this is a source. My source actually was Black Dynamite. That's fake. 
Uh, well, no, it was Black Dynamite and uh, one of my friends. That's that's up on those things. That's Mr. Uh, Randy Tafoya. I, I'm sorry, I'd, I'd rather him <laughs> have offed himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other thing, everyone thought he committed suicide. You know, what? for some reason. You know what though? It, it, it was the same reaction I think when people were like, "He's just playing the Joker." Okay, but, okay, well then, this is exactly what he has to do to win me over. Because when Heath Ledger was announced to play the Joker, I thought about all the other roles he played. I understand that the only thing close that uh, Ben Affleck has played is Daredevil, right? Yeah, that that was the headline, Daredevil's the new Batman. Okay, so when Heath Ledger was announced, he did a little voice snippet of him saying a line from the movie and then doing his laugh. And his whole, you know, his get-up or whatever, and his, you know, his mind state. And when I heard it, I was like... That's the Joker right there. So he's going to have to do something like that. like that to convince me you're Batman. The only thing more surprising that they chose Ben Ben Affleck is the fact that that means Christian Bale turned down a $50 million offer. That was the news week. Uh, that was the news story last week. Was that Christian Bale got offered $50 million to be Batman in the <laughs> Superman movie. Wait, wait, wait. You know what this means, right? Matt Damon is Robin. Wow. Whoa. There it is. Breaking news. <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> Matt Damon. You're here first. <laughs> wow. But see, and there's the thing, though, too. <laughs> and, and I don't know if I don't know if it's all English actors, but the English actors, they have this this uh, hubris about themselves where if they're done with a the role, they'll just drop it. Doesn't matter how much money it is. Yeah, they they're He's better being than an this. artist. Yeah, they're being they're they're an artist. They're better than this. It doesn't matter what the fans say. It doesn't matter how good of a job you did as that character. Once I'm done, and this is what I've seen with English actors only, and, and some American actors, Val Kilmer. But then he turned fat, and then it was I just think like Robert whatever. Downey's <laughs> about to do it with Iron Man soon. But Robert Downey, I think, is still signed on for at least another Avengers movie. Yeah, at least the next Avengers. So if they throw an Iron Man movie in there, they have to put him in there, mm-hmm. and it's probably under a contract or something like that. But Robert Downey, I think, can do it because he's just that good. You know, and he can just be like, and he's, and then plus, he's almost 50. He's 48 years old. Yeah, he's old. So, I mean, you can't go around doing that. At, you know, and he's he's got more talent, too, as well. Yeah, I've seen him in a whole bunch of different stuff. A Christian Bale, even though he, he's very talented, don't want to take anything away from him, you're Batman, dude. You're Batman for the next two, four Batmans, maybe. Swear to me. Yeah, even though, yeah, he, he's he's doing the whole marble gargling thing, but he's uh, he's definitely you're you're Batman for now. You're at the right age, you know. You could still, you know, beat up some bad guys. Ben Affleck, I'm sorry. Yeah, Geely, really? What do, you, what do you think, Laura? <laughs> ben Affleck is he your Batman? I think he can do it. Yeah. Blasphemy. <laughs> Blasphemy. You heard it here first. She thinks he can do it. I mean, wow. I can see Ben Affleck being a, a, he's a good actor. Like he can he can do some good roles, but I don't see him doing a character like that. He can be the Green Lantern. They already have a guy. No, they don't have a guy. They have the Flash as the Green Lantern. He can be. You think Ryan Reynolds should have been the Flash? The Ryan Reynolds should have been the Flash. Ben Affleck, Green Lantern. Uh, Christian Bale, Batman, Superman. To be determined. I think Ryan Reynolds has had his fill. He's already been Deadpool. He's been Green Lantern, and he was no. He's been Wade he was, Wilson. He, he wasn't was, Deadpool. Well, he was pretty much Deadpool, and then he was also uh, in the Blade movies. You see, he, okay, he's had enough. This, this is he's a comic book uh, and sci-fi actor. You know, don't put him in any type of dramas or anything like that. His next movie is what uh, R.I.P.D. Yeah, it's already out, I, think. I think that was already okay. Out. Another, already straight to video. Another sci-fi type of comic book action. You know, I would hate to typecast him because you know he probably feels, and other people probably feel that he can do more. But be, just be careful what you say because I do know he listens to this podcast. Yeah, well, hey, Ryan, holla at me. You know, I got a couple <laughs> of scripts if you want to. Uh, you just kind of cut <laughs> severed that thread there. And, uh, well, there goes that. He was actually our guest next week. Uh, now we'll he's going to just fill it in call. with uh, Stephen again. I'm not, I'm not doing your show anymore. <laughs> What's, when did he turn into a nerd? <laughs> <laughs> if he listens to this show. Screw <laughs> you, Darren Curry, and you pack here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a top ten list, everybody. 
And this one uh, is going to be a doozy. I went to a reliable source this time, like you guys asked. This one was Rotten Tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the category is, since I, I know we're a video game podcast and we only talk about video games, but occasionally I've noticed we talk about movies. So today's top 10 list is going to be the top 10 video game adaptation movies as uh, rated by the members of uh, Rotten Tomatoes. So this is video games turning into movies or movies yes. turning into video games? No, this is video games that turn into movies. Okay. And start with Laura. That video games that turn into movies? Yeah, what do you think? There's the top ten. Like, Are these good ones or just in general? Ooh. We're talking about video game movies. So they're so all bad. They're all pretty much bad. <laughs> I, I'll give you this. The highest Rotten Tomato rating, they do a percentage. The number one on here was 44%. So you know, oh, yeah. Shit. So Because, I mean, they're all Well, I they're say all bad. Mortal Kombat. <gasps> oh, that's number Laura, one. Laura, beginner's luck. Is that what this is? It's got to be top eight, three. Seven, six. That is number six on the oh, list. Wow. How wow. many points do I have? <laughs> Mortal Kombat uh, Annihilation. She's like, was number one. That's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's so that's, bad. That's definitely positive points. Uh, I think that's 130 points. Wow. <laughs> Why don't you just give her six points since it's number Ooh. six? So, so then well, if no, you wait. guess number one, you get yeah. one point? <laughs> No, that's too much. The math. lowest. She has that's too lower the point. She, she has 130. Points. That's too much math. <laughs> I, I can't math right now. Uh, yeah. Wow. Coming out of the gate strong, Stephen. What do you got to follow up with? I'll go with mm. Resident Evil. No, that's got to be on there. Wow, number three. Wow. wow. Talk your face, face thing. <laughs> that's good. That's 131 points. <laughs> of course, I'm, I'm 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 shooting low, I'm shooting low. So I'm going to say uh, Street Fighter. Street Fighter, not that's, in the top ten. It was on the shooting, list, but it's not in the top. It, it was not even on the top ten. It was no. lower. Yeah, it was, lower. I, I it was, was like around the thirties. Greatest movie. I knew it was shooting. Ever, All right, it was right down there with. Uh, I'll, I'll spoil one for you that's not on here. The Mario Brothers. If you guys all thought that ah, was going to be on here, I actually own that movie. That's sad. Wow. That. Yeah, I actually own that movie on DVD. Ouch. It is amazing. Sure it is. <laughs> sure it John Leguizamo. <laughs> Brilliant. So uh, Aaron is at negative 130 points. Wow. And I get negative for getting wrong? I didn't yeah, know that. Of course. And we're back to Laura. Laura. Silent Hill. Whoa. Wow. She is back in that's this, baby. Good. That was number four. See, that's a list. give me. I would have guessed that one. So, wow. So she has another 130 points. That puts her at 260 points. She's in the lead. So you guys guessed... <laughs> Number six, Mortal Kombat. Number four, Silent Hill. And number three, Resident Evil. And, uh, yeah. What do you got, Steven? I'm going to go with Tomb Raider. Boom! Goes the dynamite. Number, number nine on the list. Number nine? Really? Number nine. Oh, my gosh. This it's is... another 131 points for Steven. This is tough. I'm tanking over here. You're tanking, Aaron. <laughs> hmm. Now, now I don't even... I'm... I will, okay, uh, I'll give you this too. Uh, there are some sequels. So, like, if I did say Mortal Kombat 2, would that be... <laughs> You'd still be wrong. And oh, my gosh. Name another negative 10 points for wow. Aaron. Wow. So that means it's back on Laura. We're back on Laura. Oh. Uh, Wait, was that a legitimate, like, a Answer there, Aaron? No. Yeah, he was, I saw what he was trying to do. Uh, no, that's because I heard. I heard that's why I'm going to give him another negative 130 points. I heard points. Steven say it, and that's why I said it. <laughs> he said, uh, so if I were to say, <laughs> we'll come back too. <laughs> it was on the slide. It was on the slide. It's enough it's thinking, just, thinking time, yeah, Laura. There, the yeah. room is getting smoky. Actually, uh, the brain... I don't know. Wow. Pass. You're going to pass? Uh oh. Well, if you Ooh, can give this me a is hint unprecedented. No, yeah. no hands on. No. Uh, because these, these, there's too many games out there that's been movies. But she's a girl. No, no. There's, there's plenty I, of them. I out make there. the rules, so Laura gets a hint. Wow. Uh, I will <laughs> give you a hint about number 10. Uh, three letters BFG. Wow. And uh, you guys. Like, uh, like we, they, me and Steven got that right off the bat. Yeah. Mm. That's why it's like no hints. Play or pass? You need a buzzer sound. Like yeah, right. Buzzer yeah. Sound. <laughs> wow, Aaron. 
Actually, hold on. Let me. Re- I'm gonna spin the roulette wheel. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I can't even do it. I can't even do it. Hold on. Because uh, uh, I'm already. I'm already in the. On, give, give me one. Give me one. Oh, it's a pass. It's pass. We're, 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 we're passing to Steven. This is a low budget sound effects. <laughs> like Bobby McFerrin just entered the room. Everybody. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, I'm gonna go with Max Payne. Ooh, no, that's that not didn't on make there? it. No, not in the top ten. Marky I'm, Mark, what? I'm shooting low again. Uh, Far Cry, the movie. That's oh awful. my gosh. You guys didn't want to use the hint I gave Laura. No, because if she can't get that uh, mess by round three around <laughs> here, we're not. Gonna, we're not gonna take the gimmies. We're not oh, gonna take man. the gimmies. Well, you guys all just went around uh, negative points. Wow. I said you could use sequels. It better not be cluttered with sequels. It's pretty much cluttered with sequels, guys. <laughs> Super Mario 2. <laughs> oh. Laura, we're back to Boogaloo. you. I know, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> electric Boogaloo. Richard yes, Gear. Yeah. What game? She's trying to think of using the hint. Yeah. You can even throw out, I said that uh, there were sequels and you've heard some good ideas. I'll even help you with this It one. rhymes with boom. <laughs> <laughs> the rock's in it. All right, I'm going to have to spin the wheel. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Here we go. The, Here we go. The, the, the gun wheel to shoot somebody. I'm, I'm spinning the wheel. And... You can tell I got, I got really <laughs> strong on that one. <laughs> I rolled. Yeah, I'm working out. Put his arm into that one, huh? Go ahead, Steven. Help her. Why don't you say the answer? Just say the answer. It's doom, Laura. That's what I was about to say, but I was like... I saw it in her eyes. I'll give her the points. Sure, <laughs> you saw it in her eyes. Uh, 230 points for Actually, her. I think I, I said it. You yeah, can I replay. Think she, I think she said it. But I was kind of like, I'll, And if I not, Laura, I'll edit it in later. Well, no, it's in there. Just, uh, yeah. Like, um, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I know it's in there. I know it's in there. <laughs> We're editing post. But I was kind of, I don't yeah. know. I'm winking at her. How many do we have left? I don't know. No cheating. No, no, no Google. Phones. No, I'm Aaron. not looking. Oh, I'm no, on, I can't yeah. first of all, you guys first of all, audience, I'm on Twitter. Sure. Uh, that's can, what I'm checking. That's an None of us can I'm, I'm you checking can have the tweets. More than one web page People on. tweet to the show while we're doing it live. You know, maybe somebody's throwing out an answer out there, and yeah. I'm, you know, you're cheating. Then, wow, well, you well. guys, uh, it's going to turn into a team thing. If you guys have an idea, shoot it out there. All right, so let's go with um, Street Fighter Two Electric Boo. No. <laughs> 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 Uh, have they made Halo a movie yet? Nope. No. No. Not on here. Oh. Assassin's Creed. <laughs> nope. That's that's awful. Um, one of them is animated. How about that? Ooh, that makes it even more difficult. Pokemon. I know. Resident no. Evil has. Said Pokemon. Po- Pokemon. Is that what they call it in Tijuana? <laughs> yeah, fair. Well, they do have movies, though. They have plenty of movies for Pokemon. I don't understand why. I, they're I, they're I, don't, I think no, maybe it wasn't an adaptation. Was show. Yeah, I think it was a TV show first. Yeah, it was a TV show first. For the, oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, animated, know. not cartoons. How about that? CGI? Yeah. Is it oh. Final oh. Fantasy? Final Fantasy. Sound? Aaron, number one, that, redeemed himself. A that, thousand points. <laughs> that terrible adaptation of the game. The first one was terrible. The second one was decent with Cloud. Yeah, it was that The was first crazy. one, The Spirits Within, I think it was called. It, it had nothing to do so with horrible. anything. So horrible. Number two, oh, uh, I think was a Disney flick? Oh, that's... It's Wreck-It Ralph? That, no. That, that, <laughs> <was> like, <laughs> that has nothing... No, this was a real acted... Uh, Live action? Yeah, live action. Real acted. Real acting. <laughs> <laughs> For all those voice actors, you're not real actors. This is, uh, uh, maybe I'll give you a hint. Brokeback? That's not even, that's not helpful at all. <laughs> Brokeback Mountain? Oh, Prince of it? Persia? There you go. Okay. He's talking about Jake Gyllenhaal. That's it's why. actually a decent... I've never seen Brokeback Mountain or uh, Prince Persia. What are you Prince talking of Persia. about? Prince Persia. No. Hey, you got to specify. Well, I think sir. we know which one. Yeah, Steven's I think he's got that. You got that one on DVD too, Stephen? Yeah. <laughs> actually. I actually have that one at home. One and two. <laughs> Electric <laughs> Boogaloo. Electric <laughs> Boogaloo. Right? That would actually make sense. Brokeback Mountain Electric too. Boogaloo. Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. <laughs> like, right. you know, now this movie makes total sense. <laughs> so one of you guys, okay, there's three left. And they're all sequels. Oh, that mm. sucks. I'm going to say Mortal Kombat 2. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like 
Is it sequel of anything that we've said? Yes. Yes. Silent so, Hill two? No. no. <laughs> uh, I mean, they but didn't. for trying, she gets another Resident plus one hundred thirty points. Uh, Why would that even be on there again? Yes. <laughs> That's so bad. It is. I didn't like the whole series. But do you guys remember which one that was? Because they're all like apocalypse. Positive. Yep. Because I own that one. You own that? Geez, on you, DVD. You own the whole list. I have a lot of DVDs actually. Okay, so now we have what? Two more? Three yeah. more? Two more? Hmm. What do we? Even... <laughs> is it like Resident Evil <laughs> Extinction? <I> yes, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Wait, wait. Is. What's the last one? Retribution. Uh, the last one is not a Resident okay. Evil. Okay, that's so. Bad. This is where you guys are at. Number ten was Doom. Number nine, Laura Croft, Tomb Raider. Uh, number eight, Resident Evil Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Apocalypto. And <laughs> Resident Evil Apocalypse Now. Uh, Resident <laughs> Evil <laughs> Extinction. Mortal Kombat. Uh, then the mystery one, and then Silent Hill, Resident Evil, Prince of Persia, Final Fantasy. There's one more. Final oh, Fantasy was number one. Yeah, Final Fantasy. Yeah, so one. you got that one, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're all cool. Hey. Uh, you see, this is going to be an easy guess, I guess. Uh, uh, I mean, a hint. Lips. Lips. That's not an easy guess. Well, Tomb Raider 2? On... Yeah, see, Lori uh-huh. got it. She's smart. No. Now, what, what, why do you think that? I think. What? Why do you think that? What do I think what? From his, his clue. Lips. Oh, from uh, Angelina Jolie. Oh, wow. Angelina Jolie. already said Tomb Raider 1. I would have said crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy Angel- lips. Laura yeah. Croft, Tomb Raider, Crater of Life. Uh, five. I, I guess. There's there's plenty of movies out there, though, from video games. I'm Not telling good you ones. the points here. And Laura won. Wow. <laughs> like, <laughs> the Didn't he bl- get like a thousand points? I know. Points. I could have got a thousand points. <laughs> then he got negative. <laughs> Thousand wow. points for questioning my authority. <laughs> <laughs> the and Blood Rain World series World. is not even on there. Oh, that was higher up. Oh, okay. All I'm saying is that chick from Terminator shows her boobs in that one. It was awesome. In Blood Rain, the first one. I've never seen any of them all the way through. I just remember her getting banged on a gate. Wow! <laughs> wow. Like, like sweet. So there you go. Go <laughs> watch. Really suck. Go, go watch uh, Blood Rain. If you take one thing from this list, uh, go watch Blood Rain. Yeah, go watch <laughs> Blood Rain, and not Super Mario. Hey, right. Everybody needs to see that movie. <laughs> and uh, now we are ending that one to move into our next uh, segment. There is, uh, let's see, what do we do here? We got new releases. Yeah, we do. And it looks like the drought may be coming to a close because there's actually some namers on this one. So the first one we have here is uh, coming out on the Xbox 360, PS3, and PC, Lost Planet 3. It has players return to the extreme and unpredictable conditions that characterize the Lost Planet series. Players take on the role of utility rig pilot Jim Payton, who leaves Earth to take on a hazardous but lucrative contract in the EDN3. That first sentence where it says, Lost Planet 3 has players return to the extreme and unpredictable conditions that characterize the Lost Planet series basically means you're going to play the same game that you played yeah. <laughs> the first two times. And... I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Who's played Lost Planet in here? Raise your hands. Uh, I played I, a little bit of yeah. the first one so and got, a demo of the second one. Yeah, I know. I've played probably the same thing that he just exactly Laura? said. No. Bom, no. Bom, bom, bom. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the same boat. We're in the winner's it, boat. You guys Winner's just, boat? No, number two that. is decent. Number two is decent, yeah. <laughs> the demo was good. I heard when they went to the actual game, it was like... No, I played the actual game, too. I, I checked though. it out uh, from the store. Just mm-hmm. once, just to see what, I mean, I had to see what it was like, I mean, uh, and I think I played with, um, it's co-op? Yeah, it's four players co-op. Ooh, snap. And, you know, I think the only, the only draw is fighting those big monsters, like you did in the demo. Okay. But whenever you're just fighting ground units, <laughs> it's kind of just like, this is... So we'll we'll all Boy. know next month when it's free. Because if it, I swear, <laughs> that's what Microsoft does. They give away all their. So cheap stuff. on a scale of mustard or pants, are you excited about this game? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. He's stupefied. <laughs> Everybody in the room. <laughs> Mustard's yeah. awesome, game. but my pants are awesome. So I'm gonna go with poop. That was the correct answer. Right. Wow. Everybody, Stephen got the correct answer. This one is supposed to be a lot story, more story driven than the other two, though. Actually, 
Is this is this, am I the only one this is catching off guard or were you guys waiting for, anticipating? Mm. I wasn't show? anticipating. I saw the trailer for it okay. and it, it looks decent. I was just like Lost Planet, huh? All right. Yeah, cool. when when and I actually feel now that you said they might release it for free, I think that will be the next one that they yeah, release it's... free next month, and we should all pick that one because that <laughs> one is actually if it, if it's number two, yeah. If it's number one, number I'll one still download it, never play it. Number one will be Cracked Down Two. That's what. <laughs> They'll give you a crackdown, too. Right. It's next, a four-player Next co-op. on the new release is coming out exclusively on the Xbox Arcade. Teenage Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows is a third-person brawler game set in the New York City where players can go through action-packed adventures as Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Raphael. And Jojo O'Keefe. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized those are all painters. Oh, my gosh. Are you That's serious? interesting. You didn't know that when you were a child? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. In the movies, he also says he named them after like re- great. Men Did you not watch the movies? Uh, I watched the movies a lot, but I didn't. Are you going to watch a new one, the Michael Bay one? Of course. Were there aliens? Were there? A- oh my gosh, Michael Bay, he's raping people's childhoods. That's what <laughs> he's just, doing. I just remember just keep replaying little... the same car freeway chase in all your movies. Yeah, you guys remember that really the beginning of the movie where they had that little puppet uh, mouse doing karate. Oh uh, yeah, mimicking <laughs> his movements yeah. from my cage. Because <laughs> that's what rats do when you have them yeah. as pets; they mimic everything you do. Yeah, the uh, game looks weird because they do have a new art design for. Is it side scroller? No. Beat 'em up? No, it's like a three D three D multiplayer. Yeah, for oh, come on, Plays. you can't you cannot do a, a TMNT game and make it one player. They haven't done that since Nintendo One. Yeah, that would that would suck. Yeah, like every I think every single Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, except for the very first one on the Nintendo, is multiplayer at least two players minimum. They they work as a group. Why would you send Raphael out by himself? You saw how that ended in the movie. Yeah, yeah, he got beat up. <laughs> and for the PS3, uh, Killer is dead is a title from the demented mind of the celebrated game creator Suda51, serving as a spiritual successor to his previous cult favorite, No More Heroes and Killer7. Have you played either of those games? You have no idea what those games are, do you? I'm just reading words. <laughs> <laughs> this might as well be Mandarin Chinese. Kill, Kill, Killer7 and... Well, Steven and I played yeah, No More played Heroes. Heroes. Yeah. yeah. And that's a good game. That's an awesome that game. Is, is that for a, the Wii? That was for the Wii yes. first, and that was actually on the PS3 and Xbox yeah. 360. Oh, not on Xbox. It's no, not on Xbox? No. I would have saw that. It's only on PS3. I thought they put it on Xbox I would have probably played it again to get the achievements. Uh, well, it, it was, you know, you played the Assassin... And uh, you were trying to build your way up to assassin number one. So you worked your way, you know, your way up. the story, they just kind of threw you in it, too. It's like you start off as 10, and you're like, yeah, did I kill anybody else before this? You you (laughs) bought your, well, because you bought your weapon, your lightsaber, off of, like, eBay, what their version of eBay was. Yeah. And you just decided, hey, I'm going to be an assassin. What was their version of eBay? I have no idea. Mm, Game must have sucked. Wow. All right, and the next (laughs) game coming out is for the PS3 and Xbox 360. Uh, Oh, there's no description. Uh, It's just called Madden NFL 25. Play as your favorite NFL football players. Now, is this multiplayer? (laughs) Oh, come on now. It's online. Go up. I'm you, not you seriously sure. have a blog? <laughs> have, you, have, you, have, you, have, you, have you played Madden 98? Uh, no, but I played Tecmo Bowl. Well, then you've played Madden you played 25. Exact same thing. I don't thing think, I mean, there's been subtle game. changes, of course, in the game of football. But this guy I think I just said earlier <laughs> in the thing I did play the demo for Madden 25. Yeah, you did. You're cool. talking about how you <laughs> said Gatorade and it yeah. splashed on the coach or whatever. Gatorade. <laughs> He's like, Gatorade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you say it like that, all their heads turn into Henry Winkler. <laughs> That's so terrible. It's terrible. It's an idea. <laughs> Oh, so that one's coming out. That's going to be a big launch, though. That's going to be huge. That's going to be huge for people. Football season coming around. Yeah. true, actually. What? what? Oh, let's go through. Uh, We covered last week, me and Aaron like the Dallas Cowboys. Laura, you like the Dallas Cowboys, don't you? What? You like Why the Tijuana? Uh, no, no, she's looking at her wrist. Oh, that terrible team. That, that terrible what? team. We're splitting the room again, yeah, aren't we? Yeah. Five, you yeah. Yeah. Oh. San Francisco. Yeah. And, yeah. San Francisco 49ers. The, the, the two, um, 
how do I put this? Uh, what? Mexicans? Oh, wow. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even say it. So actually, wait, I, I was about to. Oh. Yeah, the two Mexicans here like uh, the 49ers. Yes. And, and, and the black the guy and the white guy like the Cowboys. Yeah. I don't I don't understand that. You're in California. <laughs> You I've already explained this plenty of times. My family is from. You're just a racist, my, <laughs> Corey, wait, some part of his family's got to be from Texas. My family, <laughs> or at least hate black people. My, <laughs> That's true. My generation is from California, but the generation above me is all from Texas, and they're all Dallas fans. So every holiday, that's exactly. And I've told people this hundreds of times. That's just how I was raised during Thanksgiving and Christmas. Because Cowboys play almost every Thanksgiving. Yeah. That's what's on TV. We eat turkey, you eat dressing, you watch the the, the boys beat up on whoever. <laughs> and so that's that's just how I was raised, a Dallas Cowboy fan. We're from Texas, or my family's from Texas. That's what I am, a Dallas yeah. Cowboys fan. I wouldn't be a 49ers fan. Come on now. And, and Jerry too, right? Jerry's a G- Cowboy fan. Jerry, oh I, th- I think Jerry's a Cowboys Jerry fan. Jerry Panericon on a- the podcast last week if you want to catch up. He's a, he's a Cowboys fan, I think, because uh, uh, gang affiliated. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what? why. He's a, <laughs> I don't so know why. No goddamn sense. Yeah, I don't know why he's a Cowboys fan, but that's my uh, reason. Whenever everybody asks, I don't understand me, Corey's though. You have family? No, I have. So, I have family. So that's it. Yeah, I have family. But that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't we all? That's, we all that's, have that's family. That's the reason I'm a Cowboys fan. It's because I have family. <laughs> no, I was the uh, same as Jerry. When I was a kid, they were they were the hot stuff. I, I think that's how everybody yeah. started. The they're same reason American everyone's a Laker fan. They're America's team. Yeah, that's true. That's a bold no. face lie. They're that's, America's team. I can say I'm team. freaking the smartest guy in the galaxy, but doesn't mean I am. Hey, I'd that's... back you. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fool. <laughs> you are a fool. And uh, Xbox 360. Call of Duty Apocalypse is Treyarch's grand finale to the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 with two all-new multiplayer maps, two fully reimagined fan-favorite multiplayer maps from past games and Origins, and an epic zombie experience. Ooh, epic. I think you left out the words DLC in your description. Though. It is <laughs> downloadable content, yeah. Well, can I get that in the store? Like on no, a disc? I can't? No, no. Oh. The the I saw the trailer for the zombie map at least that looks very interesting, very very interesting because it's taking it back to like I think World War Two yeah. in the beginning of you know yeah. Dempsey the Doctor and yeah you, I think they all meet each other the, for the first time and, and they have they giant have mechs. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw something. There was like one of the planes too, like a fighter yeah. plane. I, I get yeah. That's probably it that's was all a I war. Saw. He's like uh, yeah. He's like yeah. There was uh, cars right. <laughs> And zombies. <laughs> and I just guns. wanted to feel like I was part of it, okay? <laughs> there was you people guys too, all right? seemed so happy, and I wanted to be a part of the team. There was people in that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think guns, a couple of bullets. Yeah, so we all know, everybody knows about that. And then the last one... Wait, wait, more, who's who's getting it, though? We all have I'm, Call of Duty in I'm here. I'm not getting that. Nobody's getting I'll this? I'll probably get it, just because I But have, do you have the se- you have a season pass, right? No. no? Wow. No, no I, have, I have... I've downloaded all three of them until now. Might as well get the fourth one. I have like 700 and something points just left over. Yeah, I see. I only got four and I'm not buying it. You only have four points? No, me neither. Just, just four. Last but the four epic zombie one, uh, that last Well, you're not, gonna, you're not going to get it uh, without buying the full thing. Yeah, you can't yeah. just... But I don't think I'm going to get it. Yeah, I mean, I got to look online. I, I'll me see and the Laura got better things to do. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, so the last one I have here is for the Xbox 360 and PS3. It's called Painkiller Hell and Damnation. As players take the role of Daniel Garner, who is in, what is that? Who is, <laughs> you wrote it. <laughs> who is, uh, I copy and paste it. I copy and paste uh, it. Uh, we all want to take a shot at this word, Laura? You go first. Inevitable. Um, and then, yeah, inevitable. Inevitable? Inevitable? No, inevitable. no, no. Inevitable. In- <laughs> okay. In- <laughs> like Steve Harvey, in- who's about inevitable. to read. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> An inevitable, an evenable painkiller. <laughs> <laughs> Hell and damnation has players take on the role of Daniel Garner, who is the unenviable oh. position of being the curse of darkness and the toy of light, as he must fight his way past hordes of demons and fiends. If that was supposed to get me to want to buy this game, the word unevenable or whatever just took, you just right took me right out. Yeah. I'm done. Yep. 
I would have told the developer that to his face. I'm like, I, first of all, I don't know what this large word is. <laughs> I'm confused. He's going to say it's a sign of disrespect. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm confused. I'm it. not buying your game. Dictionary. Yeah, American. I don't want to yeah, learn. Yeah, you need a dictionary to play a game. I don't want to <laughs> learn. Nobody playing that game while I'm playing my game. That's what I, I do. just want to play the game. Why your voice get very urban? I know. Uh, you could say it, black. <laughs> <laughs> you could say it. Yeah, what, what is urban? Come yeah, on. that's when they say urban, they don't mean any other race. But when he says black. his name is Keith Urban. <laughs> no. He's Keith Black. <laughs> Pretty much. Does anybody know what this game is or care? I thought it was a sequel to I, something, right? I downloaded the demo. It was literally sitting. In my download, um, just wait bars. Just waiting to yeah. be played. I saw it the other day, and this was like, like a month or two back. Uh-huh. And I thought the game came out, and I was like, yeah, I'm never gonna play this. Again. <laughs> he just deleted the demo. Didn't even give it a chance. I just deleted the demo. Wow. Now, this like, should be this should be the most popular video game podcast. I think. Well, at least we're honest, right? Yeah, that's, that's what <laughs> we gotta start play. doing more. I think I think the audience honest. likes that. Who's going to, like, oh, painkiller. We're going to, yeah, I'm going to play this one because you can be the unimaginable <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Corbin Dallas. <laughs> Corbin Dallas. I dare you give him an awesome name like that. <laughs> His name should have been Corbin Dallas. It probably would have sold. It would probably sell a little bit more. But I don't, I thought this was a sequel to something. It, there, there's other painkiller games, yeah. Is, is it the one with uh, Ryan Reynolds on the cover? No, that was... Um... Holy crap! That what game was that? There was a game with Ryan Reynolds yeah, on the was, cover. It wasn't actually Ryan. Kind of like, like that him. one that had The Rock on the cover. What? You guys oh, remember that one? That race car game? Spy Hunter that Spy never Hunter. came yeah. out. Yeah, there was supposed to be a movie of that and got canned. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I thought the game got, came out. Just, just like, no, the game um, came out. Yeah, the game came, the game out. came out. The game came out. I remember on the PS2. It at GameStop. Oh, yeah, it didn't it? And the movie just never came yeah, out. Yeah, it's the same thing with the the Will Man with Vin Diesel. Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh! Be a movie and. It came out the game for it, but the movie never released. They for, it never came out. There. For a small while, I did think actors, that's where games were going to go, was actors were going to just put their face on on these AAA <laughs> titles, and then we were just going to see a whole bunch of, you know, like, oh, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal in Jumper 2, or something like yes. that. <laughs> but I, <laughs> They were trying to catch that on. Because yeah, they, you know, they I think almost did. I have an experience with Wheelman when I was starting at GameStop, I was still kind of new. And uh, I knew about video games, but the guy, first guy who came up to me, he was an urban guy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> and he comes up and says, yo, y'all got that wheel man? It's like, real man? <laughs> what are you sure we got the fishing game right <laughs> away? <laughs> yeah, I really thought real man. It's like a fishing game. Like, real man? Nah, wheel man. <laughs> wow. It took me a while. I just thought the first thing you said was, can you please take the gold teeth out of your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. Was this like 2005 or something? This was like whenever I worked with you guys. Yeah, it was probably around that time. That's actually. when they were yeah. all well, the grills. I got in six, so it had to be after that. Oh, well, yeah, it was definitely. <laughs> it was... Well, when did Keek the Sneak come in? Game stop? I don't know. That was after. That was definitely <laughs> after uh, 2005. Came... Oh, yeah, he came in. Yeah, and he what raspy happened? voice. He didn't tell me the story. He, just, yeah, he, he came that, in. That, that man, <laughs> no, he wanted a controller. That's it. Yeah, I just need another controller. Did yeah. he say like controller, controller, controller? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was him and whoever the the guy was with him and E forty. Uh, no, 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 no. He was the one. Um, he came in actually multiple times, and there was another associate that came that didn't know who he was, and. He, for some stupid reason, told Keek that he didn't know who he was, and that upset <laughs> him. And they started arguing back and forth. And we were like, "Why would you tell somebody that's not even a pseudo celebrity that you don't know who they are? That's going to hurt their no." It was Grassley. It's, no, 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 no. I'm it sorry. Was Baggins, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Um, you guys have named every white person in oh the my store. God. First of all, it's, uh, it what's was his name? Tight, tight, tight shirt. Yeah, tight Jared. shirt. Yeah, Jared. Jared. First of all, you just we said Mark. Yeah, like I said, you've named every. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he he didn't know who he was. Mark and, is black, and he got. <laughs> I have to explain the joke. He's to urban. People. He got. He's upset. urban, but he acts. What, what's the opposite of he's urban? Half urban. Uh, oh, he's half urban. I don't know. I don't know. Half suburban. <laughs> suburban. He's suburban. Uh, he's below urban. He's he's good people. He would have never dissed Keith Sneak to his face like that. <laughs> he wouldn't have known who he was. He, I don't know if he would have known who he was, but you at least don't tell a pseudo celebrity that Didn't I don't you know. Tell who you the are. big show to 
get out of the store? I would have told the Big Show to get out of the store Wait, as much as he. With Big Show. He walked his you, Big like, Show. Hold on, Laura knows who Big Show is. Yes. She's Explain like, to the listeners. Avid. I, what? I don't, I heard of him wrestler. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't Lucha watch doors. wrestling though, but yeah. She knows about Lucha doors. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we should have a contest. Who knows more Spanish? Well, she speaks it no, fluently. No, no, me versus you. Oh, I'm on level three of Duolingo, sir. How dare you? I'll take you on. <laughs> but he came into, the big show came into my GameStop, and he ducked under the door. And Okay, uh, that's confirmed? And Yeah, that's People confirmed. People at home are wondering. Yeah, he, <laughs> he literally ducked under the door. And uh, now, first, I think he was already in a bad mood. But when he came in, one of the customers was like, hey, big time, what's up? <laughs> So, yeah, they called him the wrong name. So he looked already like, you don't even know who I am. And so he came up to me. He was like, do you have an Xbox? And so he just needed the box by itself, just the Xbox system. So I looked up in my computer, and I was like, sorry, Mr. Show. We don't have an Xbox, but I have one with a connect with it. I don't need that. Well, I'm not asking you what you need right now, Mr. Big Show. I'm telling you what I have. And so... I was like, well, you can buy the Xbox and sell us the the three six or the uh, the Connect, you know, back if you wanted to do something like that. Because all I have is the Xbox. Give him the, the Connect. options. I gave him some more options. Yeah. And he was like, no, no, I don't want to do that. You know, that's not what I'm looking for. And so his roadie crew that was around him, a whole bunch of just like hillbilly, you know, they were calling him by his real name, which I don't even remember what it was. Is it Paul? It could have been Paul. Yeah. And they're like, you know, calm down, Paul. Call. You know, you know, we'll just go to another place. And he was all upset and looked like he wanted to choke slam somebody. <laughs> and, and, and so I can't remember who was working with me, but I was like, look, big show. You know, I'm like, oh, I didn't say it rude. You know, I was just like, hey, you know, this is all we got. Sorry. You know, I can look up on the computer. You know, I did the basic customer service thing and he just wasn't having it. I'm like, well, then, hey, you know, duck under the door again, brother. <laughs> you know, I'm mean, like, wait, Mr. Show, let me conjure up <laughs> exactly just for you. He was rude, because... but see, the thing is, you should have grabbed a guitar or a microphone, <laughs> stood on top of the table, and said, "Big Show." The, the 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 thing was, I had bought tickets, I had purchased tickets to the event that he was at, the SmackDown event that was happening the next night. I'm like, I'm a paying customer, brother. You know, <laughs> he can show me a little. I would have tried to get a, a picture because my brother is a huge wrestling fan. I would have tried to get an autograph or something for my little brother. But after he he wanted to be a, a jerk to me in the store, I'm like, oh, man, I don't even like you. So literally, when he came out the next night, I was the only person in the whole stands to boo. <laughs> I stood and booed the big show. When he came by, I know he heard me. <laughs> I know he heard me. He's like, God damn you, GameStop employee. <laughs> I, I want to see that me. headline so bad. <laughs> GameStop employee gets chokeslammed <laughs> through a table. See me all in the article. <laughs> <laughs> all beat up. I, up. I would sue. I'd sue as soon as he touches me. I'd then, sue. then we can afford to have this podcast exactly live. Yeah. in front of an audience. Like this show is brought to you by Big Show, everybody. <laughs> And the right. lawsuit that he <laughs> he walked himself into. All right, everybody, we're out of time. How did you guys feel about this one? You guys feel good? I feel hot. We can do it. Again. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it, it was good. It was good. Yeah. good. Round of applause. Round of applause for everybody. You got to get some. Yeah, you, I think you got to get some. Uh, some uh, soundboard. Let me spin the wheel and see if we we'll get a soundboard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it didn't even stop. <laughs> uh, I can see because half of them said no. And- <laughs> it's like there was one that just said yes. Yep. And unfortunately, no soundboard. Well, everybody, like we said before, you can catch us up on Twitter on at Video Game Bang. Are we on oh, Facebook yet? We are not on Facebook, oh but gosh. you can be in charge of that if you want. Yeah, I'm going to make one. And a MySpace. Check us out on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. We'll have more next week. Some Friendster. and the website www.videogamebang.com thank you all for listening actually Laura you you go ahead and thank them because that's your deal what? I tried to remind you yes and that's why it's your deal now (laughs) thank you audience for listening thank you audience for listening and I think that's it so until next week we'll see you guys all on the internet